people. My name is Mr. Abignail. That's Abignail, not Abignali, not Abignali, but Abignail. Now, oh, somebody please tell me where you left off in your textbooks. Excuse me, people, if I need to ask again, I'm gonna write up the entire class. Take your seats! Chapter seven. Will you please open your textbooks to uh, chapter eight, and we'll get started? Excuse me, what's your name? Brad. Brad, why don't you get up here, in front of the class here, and read conversation number five. Liz Francais son uh, generale meant Donsler pays Q, press Q, to Le Monde a uh, set impression. They sent and for me. They said they needed a sub for Roberta. I came all the way from, from Dixon. Well, I, I always sub for Roberta. Excuse me, why aren't you reading? Uh, Q Ills on. Step out of the bathroom! Hands on your head. Oh, that's a new IBM Selectric. Put your hands on your head. Print type in five seconds. Shut up! Pop out the ball. Put your hands on your head. Put your hands. You know he's got over two hundred checks here. A hands of on aid, your head. Drafting. He even has little payroll envelopes Put it addressed down. to himself. From Put payroll. it down. Drop it. Relax. You're late. All right. My name's Alan Barry Allen, United States Secret Service. Your boy just tried to jump out the window. My partner has him in custody. I don't know what you're talking about. What, you think the FBI are the only ones on this guy? I mean, come on. Come on, he's dabbling in government checks here. I've been following a paper trail on this guy for months now. Hey, you, you mind taking that gun out of my face? Please, really. I mean, it makes me nervous. We see some credentials. Yeah, sure. Take my whole wallet. <clears throat> you want my gun, too? Come over here, take my gun. Hey, hey, look, just do me a favor. Take a look outside. Look, look out the window. My partner's walking him to the car as we speak. Look. Old guy almost pissed in his pants when I came through the door. He jumped right through the window onto the hood of my car. Hey, Murph. Yeah, call the LAPD again. I don't want people walking through my crime scene. <laughs> I didn't expect the Secret Service on this. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> well, what's your name? Henry. Carl Henry. Mind if I see some identification? Sure. You, know, you never can be too careful these days. Well, tough luck, Carl. Five minutes earlier, you would have landed yourself a pretty good collar. It's all right. Ten seconds later, and you'd have been shot. Mind if I come downstairs with you? I, I got to take a look at this guy. Sure thing. Just uh, do me a favor and sit tight for a second while I get this evidence downstairs. You know, I don't want some maid walking through here and making the bed. LAPD should be here any sec. Wait. Your wallet. You hang on to it for a minute. I trust you. Oh! Oh! Merry Christmas! How is it that we're always talking on Christmas? Paul, oh, every Christmas, I'm talking to you! Put this shirt on, <laughs> Frank. You're under arrest. Hey, are you hungry? Do you want some beans? Call. They got the best French beans here. Yes, two dozen French police try. officers outside. Cry, I gotta tell you, they're delicious. They wanted to bring you in. You want a bike? They want the help of an American. Are you hungry? You want a bike? But I told them I wouldn't bring them to you unless I could put the cuffs on you myself. Oh, you have a gun? You have a gun? No gun? No. No gun. And, 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 you, and you tell me what? There's, uh, there's, there's, uh, <laughs> there's two dozen French police officers out there right now on Christmas Eve? That's what you're telling me? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, there's no windows here. I'm going to take a look out the front door. No, no. I told him I'd walk out first and give a signal. Here, you can put these on yourself. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. You know why? Because I think you're full of shit. I don't, know. I don't think there's anyone else out there. I think, I think it's just me and you. That's right. I think it's just me and you. And you know what? You're going to have to catch me yourself. I, we don't have time for this. Oh, that's good. That's good. Tell me what you want me to see, huh? I wouldn't lie to you. Look, you're wearing a wedding ring. You're wearing a wedding ring, Carl. You lied to me about that. Did you lie about that? You asked me if I had a family. I did. 
but I don't anymore. Yes. No, 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 there is no problem. We're coming out right now. <laughs> well, that was good. That was good. What did you, you pay some hotel desk clerk to make that call for you? Is that what you did? It's Captain Luke. I've got one minute to bring Captain you out. Luke. Captain Luke! Ooh, Captain Luke, well, Carl, I gotta say, that, that sounds pretty official to me, but like I said, I, I think it's just me and you here. It's me and you, so you're gonna have to catch me. Frank, Frank, you have to trust me on this. These people have been embarrassed, Frank, they're angry. You rob their banks, you steal their money, you live in their country. I told you this was what was going to happen, that there was no other way for it to end. Don't make a mistake. That's good, that's good, Carl, you know? Keep pushing that lie. Keep pushing it. Keep pushing till you make it true. They're gonna kill you! You walk out that door, they're gonna kill you. Van Am, may I help you? Yeah, hello, I'm calling about a uniform. Called for purchasing. Thank you. Purchasing. Um, I'm a co-pilot based out of San Francisco. I flew a flight into New York last night, but the problem is I'm headed out to uh, Paris in three hours. How can we help you? I sent my uniform to be cleaned through the hotel, and I, I guess they must have lost it. They lost a uniform. Happens all the time. Go down to the well-built uniform company at 9th and Broadway. They are a uniform supplier. I'll tell Mr. Rosen you're coming. You look too young to be a pilot. I'm a co-pilot. Well, why so nervous? How'd you feel if you uh, lost your uniform first week on the job? <laughs> <laughs> Relax. Uh, Pan Am's got lots of uniforms. It's going to be $164. Great. I'll, uh, I'll write you a check. Uh, sorry, uh, no checks, no cash. You'll have to fill in your employee ID number, and then I'll bill Pan Am. I'll take it out in your next paycheck. Even better. Dear Dad, you always told me that an honest man has nothing to fear, so I'm trying my best not to be afraid. I'm sorry I ran away, but you don't have to worry. I'm gonna get it all back now, Daddy. I promise. I'm gonna get it all back. Are you a real life pilot? I sure am, little lady. What's your name? Celine. Celine, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. Choosing eight young ladies to be a part of Pan Am's future stewardess flight crew program. Now, these eight young ladies will accompany me on a two month public relations tour through Europe. They will discover firsthand what it takes to be a Pan American stewardess. Give me at least two men. Nah, one man for every two counters. Mm -hmm. All right. And Bersky. Yeah. Make sure your uniforms are covering the sidewalk sure. entrances and exits. Hey, let's have uh, periodic sweeps of the men's lab. You here. What qualifies me to be a future stewardess? Well, I think that I'm really friendly and I can really help out and um, make people feel welcome on the plane. And We'll be traveling at 6,000 miles per hour at an altitude of 300 feet. All my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. Eileen Anderson. <laughs> Miggy Acker. <laughs> Deborah Jo McMillan. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar in far Bombay. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Come fly with me, let's float down to Peru. In Lama Land, there's a one-man band, and he'll toot his flute for you. Come fly with me, let's take off in the blue. Once 
once I get you up there where the air is rarefied, we'll just fly starry-eyed once I get you up there. I'll Is that blonde out front? Should have been a pilot. Exactly.